Hi, welcome to part two in our series. Today we're going to set the Expo in the gyro to zero so that we have full control over Expo in the transmitter. Today we're going to set the Expo in the gyro to zero so that we can control the Expo strictly from the transmitter. We do not want to mix the two. I'm going to go through the procedure. I'm going to the rudder expert menu. You'll find these Expo functions in the expert menu on each axis. And I'm going to set that to zero in AVCS. I'm going to flip switch, and I'm going to set it to zero in normal mode as well. And I'm going to repeat this for the aileron and elevator. I can go into normal mode at any time to do a trim flight. And that's why I have normal mode set up, is so that I can occasionally trim the helicopter. Digital servos, as good as they are, uh, could lose their center slightly over time. If you don't have a convenient way to change the Expo on your transmitter, then uh, just skip this video. But I definitely prefer to operate the Expo from the transmitter so that I can have different rates in uh, normal ILUP 1, ILUP 2, and throttle hold. Now I'll go out to the field and do a test flight and so all I have to do is land, change the expo until it's to my liking, and then uh, I, don't, I certainly don't have to uh, put the helicopter on the bench, take off the canopy, adjust the expo, and then go do another test flight. Now that all the expo values are zero, we'll go into the radio and set the expo up there. I use a Fataba 12Z in here. I'm at the home screen, helicopter menu, and I select AFR dual rate. And I'm going to set my Expo A and B to minus 40% on the elevator channel. You do that for normal, idle up one, idle up two, and throttle hold. Now that that's finished, go ahead and change your aileron and rudder channels do the same thing. Come back next week for part three and I'll tell you about a menu item that will make the elevator feel a lot better.